It's finally here. It's official and we all saw it coming. Battle Royale is now officially the new AAA trend. It pretty much lifted the mode from PUBG and ran away with the audience using clever building techniques and a cute, colorful aesthetic. Bravo. Who's the current president? Who would win in a fight? Batman or Superman? What's my name? This game is by and large running away with a huge amount of success. And I guarantee that EA, Activision, and all those other AAA publishers can smell this pig from a mile away. They want to dip their dainty feet into this lucrative market because they know our secret. We're all just money disguised as people. <laughs> Alright, let's take a step back. Call of Duty had its humble beginnings as a military shooter that took place during World War II. But it wasn't until Call of Duty Modern Warfare that they really seized the carp. This title, along with its yearly sequels, were the game industry's goliath, turning billions in profit. Everybody knows Call of Duty. Even your grandma knows Call of Duty. Strange, but it's true. But with frequent releases, coupled with fatigue, its popularity as of late begins to wane. Call of Duty isn't the cock of the walk anymore. There's a sexy new kid in town that needs to be taught a lesson. And that lesson is Cod Blops 4. With all the multiplayer and none of the single player. The AAA industry has officially thrown its hat into the Battle Royale ring. Which brings me to my next point. Horrible gaming trends and how they seem to be spiraling out of control as of late. Shitty DLC, season passes, games as a service, loot boxes, now Battle Royale. It's a fun game mode, don't get me wrong, but prepare to have this mode shoved down your throat by every big name developer for the near future. This is what's going to hurt the industry. With game development costs exceeding 100 million dollars, game developers are looking for new ways to separate customers from their hard-earned dollars. And single player modes are going to be considered too costly to bother with. You can't monetize single player games, as Shadow of War demonstrated, without pissing off the masses. While devs have done this before, and do it currently. <clears throat> Overwatch! I feel we are headed for a dark time where industry dicks forego single player for just the multiplayer experience. I'm pretty sure the game will be solid. Call of Duty has always had solid gameplay and slick gun controls. But I can almost guarantee that there's gonna be loot boxes. That's how they're gonna get you. And I really feel for Call of Duty players, honestly. While I don't care much for multiplayer-centric competitive games, I dabble. And by dabble, I mean I wreck shit in Overwatch. But that's it. I don't find myself playing for hours on end. Or every day for that matter. But I feel your pain. A good example would be if Nintendo released a gameplay trailer for Metro Prime 4 that revealed that it was multiplayer only. I would shit. Oh, I had a shit, baby. And the worst part is, the larger gaming industry doesn't see us as customers to be respected, but customers to be taken advantage of. With their beady eyes and their greasy hands and their little peepees. Ew! Gross! And that's my view on the topic. Please comment down below whether you agree with me, you think I'm wrong, uh, think I'm overreacting. Please tell me down in the comments. I'm all ears. I listen to everybody. Except Activision. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> And please like, permit, and survive. Shoot, share this video if you liked it. This channel is in its infancy and we need your help to grow this beast. I have been Shadow Dark, your Ninja Dad, asking you to keep the dream alive. We've got our first fan mail ever. It's from the user 
juggernaut, and he asks that we open this on camera. So, goddamn fly, please don't be a bomb. Awesome, it's Zangief. If you guys don't know, I love Street Fighter, so this is freaking right up my alley. A Rod Stewart 8 track? Oh shit. Dude, this is badass. An open deck of playing cards? Yep, that's what those are. A shot glass. A tiny Corona Sombrero. <laughs> and a rock. What? This is freaking beautiful, man. Juggernaut, down in the comments, man. Thank you so much. This was awesome.